for thousands of years, large herds of thundering buffalo could be seen all across the prairies. Millions of bison roaming from Canada all the way to Texas. But that all changed when the animals were hunted to the point of near extinction. As Michael Popov reports, the bison were down to a single herd, but are now making an incredible return to the area we call home. The grasslands of North America was once home to massive herds of buffalo. 60 million bison roamed the prairies until the latter half of the 1800s. Sue Dumontel is an interpreter with the Nature Conservancy of Canada and says around 1880, they ended up on the brink of extinction. Lots of it was the natives hunting, um, pushing lots of bison over buffalo jumps. And lots of it was the white man coming in and hunting for sport. Around 1907, the Canadian government purchased the last known herd of Plains buffalo located in Montana. The bisons were then moved to Elk Island National Park just east of Edmonton, remaining there for close to 100 years away from their natural habitat. That is, until 2003, when 50 of the animals were moved to southern Saskatchewan. It'd be like going home for them. Elk Island is a totally different environment than ours is. It's Aspen Forest and the wind doesn't blow and howl like it does up here or on the prairie. The old man on his back prairie and heritage conservation area is an hour south of Maple Creek and it's here the buffalo have begun to thrive. 138 animals grazing in the rolling hills and sprawling prairie is all the 13,000 acre privately run ranch can handle. It's brilliant. Um, we know their numbers are increasing and improving. Every year they sell dozens of bison, reintegrating them all across the prairies. In nearby Grasslands National Park, the bison there have come from the same herd as the buffalo here come from. Oh, I just sit and watch them and I'm just totally absorbed by them. It's, like I said, it's, it's soul satisfying to be part of it. Not only are the bison flourishing, testing has shown them to be genetically pure descendants of their ancestors from Montana. And that's important because most of the approximately half a million buffalo left in North America have tainted DNA that has been mixed with cattle. To get close to these majestic animals is an experience not soon forgotten. You don't have to close your eyes to imagine exactly what this area was like 200 years ago as herds of buffalo roam free. With conservation efforts here being so successful, the bison's future is every bit as inspiring as its past. Michael Popov, Chat News.